Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, Coach Fangio and uh, George Payton and the Bronco organization for coming in here and giving us a couple of days of great work. Um, it was really good yesterday to have the opportunity to go against a different team, and I'm looking forward to uh, today's practice. So with that, I'd like to open it up for any questions you guys might have. Andre Daniel said that he's obviously got a great relationship with Vaughn. They kind of share some things. What, when it comes to his speed rush, he says he's pulling from some of Vaughn's technique. What does that look like to you out there? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, at first I heard that. You know, I mean, to me, Daniel Hunter rushes like Daniel Hunter. I mean, you know, I, I think all players look at other guys. You know what I mean? And there's... There's different things that they see other guys do, and they try to come out and do it. And sometimes I say, stick with it. And sometimes I say, that's not you. Let it go. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't seen him do anything and say, oh, that's, that's Von Miller's rush. You know what I mean? I haven't, I haven't seen that. So, um, so that's a difficult question for me to answer. Daniel said that you guys have a very, could have a very special line this year. Do you feel? You guys can get back to a couple of years ago when you have uh, one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. Um, I'm just trying to get them better every day. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not looking forward. Um, I'm not looking back. I'm just locked into today and try to get them a day better every single day we go out there. And that's the only way that you can get it done. I mean, there's there's things that that you have to correct after every single practice. You know, whether that's run game stuff, pass rush stuff. So uh, in order for me to get them where I like for them to be, I got to stay locked in on who they are today to help them improve today so we can be better tomorrow. Players so to talk about adding things to the game and the other guys do. What's kind of the limit test for you to say, yes, this is good or no one's going to um, You know, I, I always look at the skill set of the player. You know, uh, if you're a, you know, if you're a, a big guy, you know, and you're trying to go out there and, and bend the corner on a speed rush like uh, Von Miller or, or Khalil Mack, you're fooling yourself, you know. Um, you know, if you've got length and, and uh, long arms and, and you don't use your length and long arms and you're trying to rush like a, sh a short arm guy, you're fooling yourself. So I just try to match their skill set to what they can do to what type of rushes best fit them. Oh, he's doing well. You know, he's getting better every day. Um, I'm glad he's back here. You know, he, he adds a different element to us, uh, you know, pass rush wise and also in the run game. You know, Steven can rush out on the edge. Um, as you know, we were able to move him inside and he did some good things for us inside when he was here before. So, you know, it's good to have a guy here with that versatility. What have your thoughts been on Pierce as you guys have been ramping up his reps and, and getting him back out there with some team stuff? Uh, it's been good. He's big. He's strong. Um, he's more athletic than you give him credit for. You know, you see it in one-on-one -on -one pass rush. You know, you can see that he has some quick edge-to-edge -to, -edge to him, and it's usually don't see that in a in a big, wide-body person. You know, um, the first time he did it in one-on-one -on -one pass rush, uh, I grabbed him and said, "Hey, man, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't rush the passer." The, the first the first time he went one on one. I can't remember all the days kinda of run together right now. It was the first time he went one on one. On the first rep, he just took the guy back and just walked him on the quarterback's feet. And then on the second rep he went right by him. And I was surprised. What's the key to to, to that skill set for him being as big as he is, but also that athleticism? That's very unique. It's very unique to have a guy that's three hundred and forty pounds, uh that can that can show the quickness that you would like a three technique to have in spurts is very unique. And for me, my job is to get him to bring that out of his game more often. And so you saw yesterday in practice, he had he had a time in a, in a team period where he hit that same move and was stood right in front of the quarterback and it would have been a sack. And so in his career previously, I never saw that on tape. You know, I never saw that on tape. So I was. Uh, pleasantly surprised that he has that to his game. And so my job is to make sure that he brings that out 
and that he uses it at different times in the game because he has the ability to make an explosive play. You know, when, when you're that big and strong and physical, the offensive lineman is sitting to brace for his power. You know, so now when he can change it up and give him some quick speed, that really opens up a lot of things for his game. Is that a situation of where previously he either wasn't aligned in a position to make those moves, or is that something that you're emphasizing with him here that you're now seeing him tap into? Um, I don't know. You know. I don't know what Baltimore, you know, told him to do. I just know sometimes when you're built like Mike and you're you're shorter and wide and strong, uh, that that's what they want you to be all the time is big, strong, and physical. That's what they want you to be. Uh, so I can't speak to, to uh, whether they didn't allow him to do that or maybe he just chose not to do that and just be what they wanted him to be. Sometimes that happens too. And that's why I wanted to make the, the point to him right off the jump street when I saw it. Okay, don't you ever tell me that you can't rush the passer. Don't you ever tell me that you can't beat anybody quick edge to edge. You made a mistake. You showed me you can do it. Okay, so now I'm going to be on you to make you do it. And so, um, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised, and that's a, that's a big thing for a big man to have. Andre, did you hear any of your DBs talking about how tough a cover Jerry Judy is? Um, no, they you know me. It's, you know, we're in the meetings. It's just kind of been, you know, correcting the mistakes. Uh, so uh, maybe Carl, our secondary coach, has heard some stuff, uh, but I have not. Andre, I remember uh, Rick Spielman talking at the draft maybe two years ago about focusing on interior defense linemen's intelligence. Um, where does that show up with Pierce and Tomlinson? Like, where does their high intelligence help them in the position? Um, you know, they both have really good football smarts. And when you have that, you can make an adjustment really fast with those kind of guys, right? So, you know, a team can give you something a little bit different than you haven't seen before. And um, you can communicate with them, and they can make the correction which is most times with defensive linemen, they have to feel it. You know, I mean, I've had times in games where I've had to pull them off the bench and actually walk them through on the sideline so they can feel it. You know, but when you have guys that have played in games and are, are smart, you can make the corrections just from talking to them about it, and they understand where you're going and what you're trying to do. Daniel said that it was the first, this is our first time talking to him since the pads have been on, and that he gets the first practice out of the way, and for him, like the injuries behind him, he realized he doesn't have any restrictions, all of that. When we talk about like with quarterbacks, having if they have like an ankle injury, like Dak, for example, you're going to be concerned probably about guys around your ankle first. You're going to have to get into that. But he said he doesn't have to really worry about that with the bending in the neck. From your perspective, do you have to worry about that at all? Um, to be honest with you, Courtney, I was concerned the first day we went in pads. I wanted to see what was going to happen. You know, I mean, you're a defensive lineman. You're banging somebody every play. So the, the first day in pads was the day that I want to see. Was he going to be timid to put his face in there? And he was not. He looked like his normal self, you know. So after we had the first team rep and it was a run play and I saw him fit the run like he normally do, then it was, it was all done for me. You mentioned Pierce's pass, pass rush skills. What have you seen from Tomlinson in that regard? And is that the kind of guy that you think will stay on the field a lot on third downs? No, well, that's my. Well, you know what we're trying to do on third downs. I answer the second part first. Is we're trying to put the four best pass rushers on the field. So not, not by position. So if the four best pass rushers are defensive tackles, then they'll be the best guys on the field. If the four best pass rushers are defensive ends. Those are going to be the guys on the field. So, so right now, that's what I'm trying to figure out through practice, through preseason games, to get the four best pass rushers on the field. The one thing that Dalvin gives you is he's got unbelievable strength. And so the thing that you see that happens for him is he's able to walk a guard right back on the quarterback's feet. And so the biggest thing that I've been changing with him is to get him to, get him to move, get that guy to move, and then when he feels his feet hit the ground, now make your move. And he's hit that quite a few times so far out here in practice. And so, you know, Dalvin was a tremendous wrestler in high school. And so what I've been trying to do is bring back his memory from his wrestling days. You know, when you're a good wrestler, you can feel where somebody's body is on you. That's where you know where to make the moves. Well, if he can bring that to his game to where he can feel that he's leaning to his left, so I'm going to finish my rush off to the right. 
And so uh, by tapping into that, he's been able to use that more out here in practice. So hopefully if that keeps going, I think he has a chance to put up, you know, better numbers than he did in New York. Andre, what's the biggest thing you want to see from Janaris going forward uh, into this visit here? I think just to keep improving. You know, that's all of the rookies, just to keep getting better every day. You know, this game is this game in the NFL is so much different than it is in college. You know, in college, you could be a tremendous athlete and you can run by a guy. It's not going to happen in this league. The offensive linemen are too good. They know what they're doing. So it's just continue to get better at his craft every single day. Well, I, you know, I think the biggest thing is just getting used to being in the pads and how fast the game is and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, but there's there there is some carryover, you know, to wrestling to what those guys are doing inside. There is some carryover there. And that's why you have seen quite a few good defensive linemen have had a wrestling background. Um, but sometimes no one kind of puts the two together. So they're able to use it, you know. Fans coming back this year after not being around last year. They come back Saturday. How cool is that? How much is that going to help the defense? Obviously? You know, it helps us a lot. You know, we've got the best fans in the world. And uh, it was really hard last year, you know, not having him them with us. Uh, you know, on third down, you can't hear yourself think. And that gives us a tremendous advantage in my room with the defensive linemen because we get – you know, the O linemen are a tad slower off the ball because they can't hear or they're going on a silent count. So, you know, they're definitely the 12th man for us on defense, and uh, I'm excited for them to be back. They're going to help us win football games.